Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, uh, I finally upgraded my Windows Insider Preview testing machine to the latest build, which is 16251. One of the coolest things that they added within the new build is within the settings app, as always. So let's go inside notification area, all settings. And within all settings, we're going to see this cool option that says phone link your android or iphone so i actually have my iphone right next to me and we're going to click on it and this is the option it's really self-explanatory so we're going to click on add a phone this nice little dialog box is going to pop up and we're going to enter our phone number to get a text message all right so i just received the message right here awesome and it says install this microsoft app to test the magic of linking more apps coming soon so let's click on tap to load the preview and it's going to load up and it says MMX SDK. We're going to click on that link and it looks like it wants us to open up the app store. So let's click on open app store and the program that we need to get is continue on your PC, which is a Microsoft corporation. I'm assuming you could just go to the app store and just look up this application. So we're going to just get get and install all right once the app is installed we're going to open it up let's check it out and it gives you a nice little introduction of what's what with this new uh, feature within windows 10. we're going to swipe okay cool swipe again and it looks like we have to locate our continue on the pc app to enable it and it should be there all right cool Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're going to hit try it now. And from here, we're going to click on the share button. From here, I'm going to go all the way to the side and click on more. We're going to locate the new app. We're going to enable it. Hit done. And there it goes. We're going to click on it. And it says uh, continue now, continue later. So what we are going to do is continue now. And it's going to want us to log into our Microsoft account. Okay, so I'm going to log into my Microsoft account. All right, so once you put your username and your password, which is your email account, it's, uh, it's going to say, let this app access your info. So I'm going to hit yes. Right now it's finding your device. And if everything works well, it should prompt up the all the computers that I have access to. So... From here, we need to locate what's the name of this computer. So I'm going to right click on my start menu and I'm going to go to system and within system, I should get my computer name. So we're we looking for the desktop. I think it's OQ B O V. There it goes. So this will be the first one. So we're going to click on it. And how awesome is that? I'm loving this feature. This is pretty cool. Even though Apple already released this feature within Safari and the iPhones, but the fact that Microsoft is pushing it out with Windows 10 and allowing iPhones to do it, it's a great thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.